When I was invited by Lynn to come here to do something for this Benedictine monastery, it reminded me of a doodle that I had found or was given as a schoolgirl, which I kept since 1980 or 79, I don't know when it was, done by a Franciscan friar um, in Canterbury in the University of Kent. And, um, you know, often when things come to the, when I, when I remember things like that, then I, I trust in that process. So, and when I came here for the first time, I, one of the startling things is all the marks carved into the stones, the amateur marks as opposed to the, the professional markings. And, and I, I saw a connection between the two. And um, so I worked simultaneously on the doodle and the, the mark. So I came back and photographed as many as we could find in the stones. And then I filmed the doodle um, with a macro lens and a rostrum camera just circulating around it very close in. So you are, um, you can never get out, which was something of how I imagine a religious life to be. <laughs> that, you know, very internal, internal process, a very cerebral process, and in a way, you can never get out. Well, it's different because it's the first time I've ever used a continual pan. I, I hate, I never use pans. I'm, I always find them a lazy thing, actually. But this is a very deliberate movement across the doodle, and. Um, and I've never used this sort of rostrum camera before, all focused on something quite um, so internalized. So it's very different in a way. But it does resemble a recent project, possibly, that I filmed of Morandi's studio, where all the markings that he made underneath his objects. So there's a sort of connection to it. I have always been interested in religious communities in a way, because it's. It, I don't quite understand the decision, uh, you know, how or why do that really. And th that slightly fascinates me and you have a, you know, you have a lot of preconceptions as an outsider to how it really is to be inside. You know, I mean, it's terrifying to me to make that decision and, and I suppose that's sort of pretty universal because I think everyone has that fascination with religious communities. I mean, when you go to the Vespers here in the church and all the people, it is slightly, you know, you, it is, there's an element of theater about it. Like you're, you're fascinated by the them more than, you know, the whole experience of having a mass in, you know, in your daily. There's a bit of spectator thing going on.